Hello everyone, it's Alex. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Today I'm doing a different kind of video. Um, I typically don't film my declutters. The most declutter that you guys will see is from my Shop My Stash, where I do my monthly roundup of products to see if I'm keeping some or decluttering some. Um, but lately, um, oh, well let me start out with this. Uh, first of all, I am not the type that declutters all in one lump sum. Like I've seen, I enjoy watching them but I'm not one to go through my whole entire collection and just start decluttering. That's just not how I've been. It, I, I can't work that way. I actually um, really think about things because once I declutter, I declutter. That's my thing is, one, my personality is once I make up my mind, it is made up and it is not budging. That's how I've always been with any aspect of my life. I will bust my rear end until I get to my goal or I completely quit and that's the end of it. I'm black and white when it comes to that. So that's how I am with my declutter. I don't want to declutter just to make a video or get views um, and do it that way because it's just not me. So what I do is I declutter on the daily. I'm not kidding you, I cannot exaggerate. Every day I'll come up here and go through my drawers and pick up one or two things that I know that I've officially made up my mind on, that I didn't use, that I know I'm not gonna use, that, you know, that I consider, you know what? I think that it's time to let you go. So I just have five. I, there's a heck of a lot more boxes sitting over there that will be going to my friends and family. Um, there is a bunch of stuff on my Poshmark and I still have a ton to put up there. If you are interested in any of that, it's down in the description box, my link. But these specific items that I'm going to share with you guys today will be going to my friend and her family. Um, but I wanted to share them with you because I know I don't share my declutters. I don't share my declutters. It's just not something that I enjoy doing that way. Um, every day I declutter something, every day, whether it's because I used it and realized, you know what, it's not for me anymore, or I just know I'm not gonna use it, and it, I'd rather go to someone that's gonna use it. So now that we've had this long intro, I'm gonna get into the five products I wanna share with you guys today that will be going to a new home, period, end of story. Okay, now I also wanted to point out that the reason um, that I do this too is me going through these products with you, I do not feel, and looking at them, I do not feel like I want to change my mind about. I know some individuals when they declutter, they change their mind. They're like, oh, I shouldn't. I have not once ever changed my mind and said, you know what? I should have never decluttered that. And looking at these five products that I have in front of me now, I do not feel like I'm going to change my mind and put them back in my drawers. These are definitely going away because I take my time and really make that decision of decluttering my things. So I'm gonna start off with the first one. This is a mini. Dandelion, Dandelion Shy Beam. This was featured in one of my, um, I don't know if you guys can see if this light is like blaring on them. This was uh, featured in one of my uh, Shop My Stashes. And I had said I didn't mind it. I didn't, uh, you know, it wasn't the best. It's like that wand type of uh, applicator. It's supposed to be a matte highlight, but ever since that shot my stash, I've never used it again. I kept it in my drawer here on my desk to try to get more use out of it on my everyday routine, and I'm still not using it. So before it goes bad, I'm just going to go ahead and give it to my friend and her family. I'm sure somebody, whether it's one of her aunts, her mom, they're going to enjoy it. So that is the first thing I'm going to say goodbye to. I'm not interested in purchasing the full size at all whatsoever, so that's leaving. The second item is something that I wanted to keep because I figured during the fall I can use it as a base, I can use it as a base, but I have come to realize that there are specific bases that I enjoy a lot more, that I have been reaching for more, so this one will be leaving, even though this is super unique to my collection as far as the color, and I don't have anything exactly like it, but I'm willing to part ways with it because I just don't like the formula. And that is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Rust. And I'll show you a swatch of it. It is beautiful. I really like this one. It's gorgeous for all over the lid as a base, but it doesn't set on my eyes. So that's the reason why I don't like it. It, it blends out really nice, but it never sets, so it creases like crazy. I have oily eyelids. So it just creases and I just don't like it. I don't like it for that reason. The reason why I haven't reached for it 
and I'd rather reach for like my Mali shadow sticks, my Laura Mercier caviar sticks. Those I know are budge proof. They give me the impact that I want. The only thing I will miss is the shade of this, but I can live with that. So this is also leaving my collection. Next up is something that I have contemplated over and over whether to let it go. This is Laura Mercy, Laura Geller's fin Filter Finish Setting Powder in Universal. Now this is kind of like that mosaic type of um, powder where it's supposed to brighten with the color correcting and things. It is nice, like it gives you a nice sheen. I don't get any blues or greens in there. And it gives you a really nice glow to the skin. My issue is I don't, I only have two other setting powders like this and they're the hourglass ones. One I specifically like for my under eye, the other one I don't mind for all over the face. So that's the reason why I don't reach for this one. I tried it recently just to see if I'm, I'm definitely gonna get rid of it. And when I put it on my face, it gave me more glow than I wanted. And it gives more glow than the hourglass in dim light and the diffuse light that I own. This one really you could see the sheen coming out of it. And I didn't like that because I already have oily skin and I don't want to get super oily. Like this is going to make me look super shiny. So I'd rather give it to somebody that's going to use it, that's going to love it, that has drier skin, that wants that glow, maybe that want that subtle highlight they can get this out of it. It's just too glowy for me because I don't have dry skin. So that one's also leaving my collection. This was a limited edition. It's supposed to be a highlighter, but I use it as a blush topper. Here's the deal with blush toppers. I constantly hear people when they do their declutters or their inventories and things, how much they love a blush topper, how they keep them in their collection. I just realize I'm not that type of person. I'm either going to want a highlighter or I'm going to want a glowy blush. Period. End of story. I don't want to add a fourth thing to my cheeks. I don't want to add a blush, then a blush topper, then a highlighter or not a highlighter. It's just too much for me. I don't care for a blush topper. If I come across something that's a blush topper, I have already declared it for my collection. It's just not for me. I just rather get a glowy blush or a highlighter. And I've come to realize that over time. So this is something that I kept because it was a blush topper. This is, this was, it was limited edition. It was uh, made to be a highlighter, a face highlighter. It's called the Sahara Sunset Highlighter by Sonia Kashuk. She no longer makes makeup. But this was something that I absolutely love. This is too orangey to be a highlighter for me, as you guys can see right there. It's way too glowy. But I did enjoy this as a blush topper because if you sheared it out, it looked really nice. So I would top it off on my orangey blushes. But that's another step I had to take. So I just am ready to part ways with it. I really enjoyed this product. You could see that I got use out of it. You could barely see the SK there. I got use out of it, but I'd rather give it to somebody who wants that type of soft glow to their cheeks and doesn't doesn't want a highlighter. They'd rather do this. So I'm letting this one go. It will be finding a new family. Last but not least, I have come to the acceptance that I don't need to own a whole entire range of collection. And what I mean by that is when I love something, I'm the type of person that needs it in every color because I love it. And that can go for shoes, it can go for clothing, it can go for handbags, and it goes for makeup. And I have shedded that out little by little the rest of my life. And now I'm starting to do that with my makeup where I'm realizing I don't need the full range collection of things just because I like the one color even though the other ones I don't use often but I need to have the whole complete collection. So I have realized this, I've come to realize this and I'm accepting it and I'm actually doing really well with it which I'm super happy about because before it was like nope, nope, can't do it. Now I feel like I can do it. I'm good. I'm in a place where I can do this and it's great. So for that reason. I'm letting go of this Milani blush, the big blush. I owned every single color of these. At this point, I think I only own four or five at this point. Uh, there may be more leaving, I don't know. So this one is called Coralina. I love this shade because of the actual shade range. Look, at it's just so pretty. It's pretty. In my mind, it was amazing for the summer. I get use out of it. It's a deeper shade, but it'll look gorgeous with a tan, blah, 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 blah. That's how I sold myself in getting this blush. 
not, I think I've only used this blush once. Use it only once. And every time, the reason why I don't use it is because this specific blush, I don't know if you guys can see that, it has so much glitter to it. Like the glitter is so noticeable in this specific shade and it doesn't matter how I blend it out, I could still see the sparkle in it and I don't like that. I don't like that. Uh, that's the reason why I never use this blush because I just would see it. I would put it on my cheeks and then I'd have to grab a stippling brush and like blend it away. And then the color would blend away because I'm blending away the glitter and then it, it was just like a vicious cycle. So yeah, probably by the time that you get past the surface, it might be not as bad, but I'll never get past the surface because I've never hit pan on a blush. So for that reason, this one's leaving my collection as well. I am happy and I feel good about letting go. I'm okay with not having the whole collection range and I'm happy to know that someone else is gonna get use out of it and it's just not gonna go into the trash because it grew mold and I never got to use it or give it to somebody who can use it. That's my mindset. So these are just five products, you guys. Five products I wanted to share with you guys today. If you guys want me to continue to share certain products that I am getting rid of, let me know and I'll continue to do this. Um, obviously during my shop, my stash and my monthly lipstick bag is where you guys are gonna see a lot of things being declared that I'm currently using, testing out during those shop, my stash, the whole point of shop, my stash. So I'm sure you'll see more coming up that will be leaving my collection. So that's it guys. If I can find these items, I will list them down below if you are interested in them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys in my next video. And don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye guys.